So I wanted to do a short little video because today it is quite cloudy and yesterday <clears throat> when I did my big solar generator I didn't really have an opportunity to uh, get an idea of performance while it was actually cloudy. Now uh, again I'm using a pair of Goal Zero uh, Boulder 15 solar panels. Uh, these are two that I had that weren't part of the array from yesterday that will be added to it at some point. Uh, so <clears throat> maximum power output should be 30 watts. Today though, instead of my maximum PowerPoint tracking controller, I'm using a standard inexpensive um, just battery charge, solar charge controller. Um, I've got that hooked up to, what does this guy say? A 9 amp hour, but it's really more like a 7 amp hour uh, AGM battery that I rescued from a uh, UPS that was being discarded. And what I wanted to demonstrate, I have my watts up meter hooked up between the panel and the charge controller. And as you can see, we're only getting about 4.6, 4.7 uh, watts total. Now, if you wait for the meter to come around, 4 watt, 0.4 watt hours, it'll show us the peak wattage so far. 5 watts is what I peaked. Now, I'm not trying to aim the panel or anything, because as I know, I couldn't really find anywhere that I was getting better performance uh, tilting it up or aiming towards anything in particular, so I have just left it lying flat here. But as you can see, we're getting less than one-sixth of the uh, ideal performance. So I just wanted to show that uh, for planning purposes, on a cloudy day, you're probably looking at 20 or less percent of your solar rays total output. Now this battery was nearly fully charged when I started. Um, it uh, says it was started at 12.71 was the voltage. So it is actually charging the battery. Um, but one thing I want to point out, Yesterday, you'll know, the maximum power point tracking charge controller was holding the panel input voltage uh, closer to 15 volts. And again, that's because it has a microcontroller inside of it that's uh, running through the power curve, finding the maximum power output. Whereas, as I mentioned, a standard battery controller will actually pull the output voltage of the solar array down to the battery voltage. Um, I would expect that if I were to um, pull this off and measure the battery, the battery voltage would be at 12.9 or slightly less. Um, I'm imagining the voltage is slightly elevated just due to the charging process. So uh, I actually wish I had a portable, another portable MPPT tracker to compare uh, to show you what a big difference it is. But um, you know, this voltage output, just to show you what would happen and that it's not the panels, if I disconnect the uh, charge controller, you'll see the panel voltage is still at 20 volts, and that's with uh, the meter disconnected. So again, maximum power point charge controllers are very important for uh, maximizing the efficiency of your setup. And I do look forward to getting my big setup out sometime uh, in cloudy conditions to see what it will do.